fact. And then sorry to put it this way, but uh, you know, even we come from a land of Gandhi and we've believed in Ahimsa for a very long time. But it looks like Tibet and India are on the receiving end because of our non-violent ways. And we've obviously been through a lot of history together. And do you think this is enough to achieve what we want to achieve? I think, you know, we, we must never have a second opinion about nonviolence. I believe that nonviolence is, uh, is not a method. And nonviolence is not a tool. Nonviolence is a basic philosophy. Nonviolence is our existence. Because of nonviolence, uh, it makes us who we are as Tibetans or as Indians. In fact, uh, the Tibetans received the lessons of nonviolence from India. Otherwise, the Tibetans had always been uh, the warrior uh, who used to uh, rule over central India, uh, central, uh, sorry, uh, uh, cut it. Uh, Tibetans had sure. always been, uh, Tibetans had always been the warriors who ruled over Central Asia and they created the one of the biggest uh, military empires in the world in this time between 7th to 10th century. Right. So you see, at the time, uh, uh, you know, uh, parts of Mongolia, parts of China, and m uh, much of the Himalayas, and all right up to Afghanistan uh, and Iraq, uh, there were huge swathes of land which came under Tibetan Empire. So Tibetans were uh, warriors. And then uh, when Buddhism came to Tibet, we understood that there is no glory in killing people or occupying lands. And it takes more courage to understand your own state of mind. And if you want to conquer, conquer your greed. If you want to kill, kill your anger and hatred. And, and there lies the true lessons of Ahimsa uh, and and karuna which is which is the basis of all our existence so these are the lessons of karuna and ahimsa that we have received from from india so right. so you see you know therefore his holiness Lama again and again says that india is our guru and we are our chela uh, so therefore when we are uh, you know uh, positioned on these basic philosophies uh, we should not have any second thought about about this or look at right. this as a weakness. Our weakness is that we are not able to find confidence or or conviction in karuna and ahimsa. If we if we do, then we will see uh, that um, the physical emanation of empire building in terms of uh, financial power, in terms of military power, are are false. Right. And China, China may have built a huge economic uh, infrastructure today, or they may be hugely powerful, but neither are the Chinese people inside happy, nor is the world happy with China today. Then what is the point? What is the point? You know, ultimately in life, we want to live in peace and we want happiness and we want to share this happiness. And the power is there in, in happiness not in the not in the capacity to torture and hurt other people that's monstrosity and this is not the end of any kind of a civilization please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar